What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something pretty freaking cool. We're finally doing something to the Explorer ST, the one right outside this door. So let's head into the intro and then I'll tell you guys what we're doing in today's video. So as you guys know, earlier last year, I bought a 2020 Ford Explorer ST, and we have had so much fun with it, racing it, putting the exhaust on it, blow off valve, that kind of thing. And today, we're finally doing its first appearance modification if you don't count temps. So, as you guys can see over here, we've got some tires for the car. But as you see right here, it says 275, 55, 20. But my wheels that come stock on the Explorer ST, let me just show you. As you can see down here, it's a uh, it's a 21. Now, I have gotten a lot of miles out of these Pilot Sport all season fours, um, these Michelins. I, I like a good Michelin tire, but as you can see, we are getting very, we're getting pretty much down to the wear line. Probably still have a few hundred miles on them, but I thought why not reach out to a company and see if we can work together on getting a new setup for this car. So the reason behind me doing this is because the cost for 21 inch tires is, is kind of crazy. So the only other vehicle that runs a 21 inch tire from the factory is a Range Rover and I guess Michelin and all the other companies decided that if people can afford Range Rover they can for their 21 inch wheels, they can afford expensive tires. So the cost for those brand new were $1,800 and I was like, no, 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 no way. Absolutely not gonna buy those again. So what I did instead was, see right here, we got Tuscany that sent it out some new wheels for this car. Now, they are 20 inch, so they will be a bit smaller, but the tires are gonna be a little bit bigger, so it's gonna have a meatier, um, more menacing, wider stance on the car now. And as you can see right now, the stance is pretty decent. But, uh, but these 275s are gonna be pretty freaking meaty. So I'm, I'm truly excited. We got a taller sidewall as well, so it'll, fin the, it'll fill the fender gap a little bit better. Let's go get this day started. I'm actually only 1,400 bucks into this new setup, whereas the original, just the tires, were gonna be 1,800. So we're already up. So let's go see how these look. As you guys can tell, I uh, have my pit bike tire in here too. If they can do it, that's gonna be great. But if they can't, I'm just gonna take it to a power sports store in the city so uh we'll see we'll see if they can do it or not but let's load these tires up let's go get some new wheels and tires on this thing <laughs> gotta get another trailer tire too i'll explain this in a minute All right, guys, I'll see you at the tire shop. All right, guys, we have made it over to uh, Griffin Tires. Um, I got everything we need in the back, but check out this van right here. We, he actually comes to you and can install it anywhere in the Charlotte area. Uh, he's got a mobile tire machine. He's got a wheel balancer tire machine right here inside the van. And if that's not pretty cool that they can do it mobily, I, I don't know what is. So we gotta get these tires out. We gotta get these wheels out to show you guys and uh, get these things on freaking ST. All yeah. right, let's see them. Okay, okay. It should look pretty sick. Tuscany, they're Italian. Tuscany, yeah, you gotta do the little motion. Yeah, they're Italian. These should look pretty good on there, I think. Hopefully I got enough meat to fill the gap, so. I'm going an inch smaller. You so. got plenty of tire. Plenty of tire. Yeah, that's a good looking wheel right there. I love the freaking outer rim, the outer spokes. Very, very rally. Very rally, that's what we like. It's what we like around here. So let me get the rest of the tires out. Let's get these babies mounted. That's gonna be so sick. 
I gotta say one cool thing about you know this whole setup here is this airbag right here that kind of lifts up the whole rear of the car all at one time. You literally just plug an air compressor into it. It lifts everything up in a matter of seconds. You don't have to bother with a uh, with a jack or anything like that. And I mean, for 700 bucks, you're getting a pretty good deal. And with how easy, how easy it is to get up a car up. But yeah, we were definitely due for some tires. You can't see, it's hard to tell if you need tires when the tires are kind of tucked up underneath your car. But if you take a look right there, I mean, we were, we were uh, definitely due for some tires like that. All this is whole flat right here, but that's because we got a turbo in the car. Actually, we got two of them, but these are looking so insane. These are definitely gonna look pretty freaking beady. Because especially if you do a black, you yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell I You need lug nuts. All right, guys, we got the wheels and tires on, but I'm not going to show you yet. We're going to go home, eat lunch, wash this thing, and then I'm going to show you guys in the big final reveal. We'll also talk about some other cool stuff. Um, I got a trailer tire that I told you about earlier that I'll explain later, and it's almost later. So just stay with me, stay with me, and uh, we'll be home soon. Alright guys, well let me know what you think, if you guys like these wheels or not. I think they look freaking beefy and it kind of gives it like a rugged kind of off-road look. I mean, we got to look cool when we're pulling up to the freaking races and everything like that. So, if you guys like these wheels right here, check them out, Toscani.com. They also have a brand of wheels called Impact. They're the more off-road, 16, 15, and 14 inch size wheels. Very, very rugged and nice. But I am about to cut to a montage so you can see this thing in all of its freaking glory on a better lens so you guys can just enjoy this car i i love this car i think it has a way meatier stance now i mean freaking check that out we got a little bit of poke and we got some nice tires too that i picked up as well so i'm gonna cut it into a montage i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me put these wheels on and then we'll be right back here to the house and talk about something else i just got So as I was talking to you guys earlier about something else that I got recently, I truly started to hate lugging around a 16 foot trailer everywhere. It's a steel trailer, it's dual axle, great for certain purposes, say hauling the side by side, the four wheelers, the dirt bikes, all the stuff together. For just hauling around a side by side, I was getting very tired of hauling the 16 foot and you know worrying about 16 feet behind your car. Or if I was just going out on the dirt bikes, both the dirt bikes or just the four wheeler alone, I was taking a 16 foot trailer for just one item, which didn't really make sense. So I got on Facebook Marketplace, and as you guys know, and as you guys probably do too, uh, just scroll for hours and hours. I, I found this, I found this trailer right here. It's a six by 12 aluminum freaking amazing trailer and I got a crazy good deal on it. You can't really find them under two grand, which I did. Uh, you find them online for about 28 to 32 ish. Um, but I got this one. I scooped this thing under two grand. So it was a super good find. However, it did need a tire and that's why I was talking about earlier. We replaced this tire on the right side of the trailer. As you can tell right here, to end off this video, we're going to be picking up some stickers for the ST. Now, you guys know and saw that I actually put stickers on the door of, of the X3 and they look insane. So I was like, how else can I include the brands, the sponsors that have helped me come so far on the X3 build, none other than put them on the ST. So when we were going down the road all together, the ST, the new aluminum trailer, and the X3, it's gonna just look so cohesive and so good. So I, I will pick you guys up when we get to, uh, when we get to Auto Arsenal. They do all my graphic designs and tint and all that kind of stuff. So, so I will meet you guys over there 
and I'll see you in a, see you in a couple minutes. It might be a few days from now, but we're gonna get the stickers and we're gonna show you like just how cool it's about to look. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in here in a second. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since the last update on the car. I just wanna come in here, end the video off, and just show you guys what we kind of did on the car to kind of complete it for today, for now. So as you guys know, we got the wheels and tires on. Looks so, so good. And we put my roof racks on as well. And these will be definitely coming in handy whenever we start our media ventures on this rig right here. And as well as my boy over at Auto Arsenal, Brian hooked it up with all the sponsors on the side. We got Function, Heat Wave, and my MC Production Garage logo. So this thing has come out really, really freaking cool. And let me show you one more cool feature. So I will do an announcement that we are actually participating in a rally. We are filming it. And I got some stuff to help kind of set this thing apart so everybody knows this is a media car in the future. So as you can tell right here, we have some hazard lights. It kind of makes the vibe look really, really cool. Um, they obviously flash and they can do other features, but having them stagnant on um, whichever way we need to when we're filming and stuff like that will be pretty freaking sweet. So we have the front all done up with the amber lights and we have the back as well all set up for amber lights now in the state of north carolina you can have the amber lights a lot of the construction people work uh with them and they're honestly kind of freaking nice because if i'm ever pulled over on the side of the road filming something and my car doesn't stick out as much as it should i can run turn these on run the flashers and people kind of look out more for my safety and for their safety as well and whoever's car i'm shooting so i think it came out really really sick we got the sponsors on the side the new wheels and the lights and the roof racks and this car is kind of coming together this thing is a full out tow rig you guys saw earlier we got a new trailer and so we will be taking a big road trip at the end of the year with this car so stay tuned if you guys want to see us go and visit our boy gavin again and if you want us to stop by and see uh weston again in kansas let me know in the comments but i hope you guys appreciated this video different vlog we, we did some car stuff we're going to do a lot more car stuff here soon so uh stay tuned and i'll see you guys later have a good freaking week oh,